Everyone just went live according to Twitch. Do you get notifications for that? I do. That's nice. Well, you gotta be a follower. You gotta sign up and be a liker. Or a follower. Or a like and follower. A Twitcher. Or a Twitcher. Yeah. Um. Why is our video so frozen? I know. Go ahead and refresh. Yeah, I'm hitting that right now. Ah, I see motion. Motion. Why are... It says we're offline. Definitely not offline. Definitely not offline. All right. Um. Go back to Twitch now. Go to... Uh, scroll... To, um, you don't want to be a dashboard on your game. Say I think something. You, I think you do want to be a dashboard, don't you? Yeah. That's what we were doing. Video manager? No. Uh, uh, just just type in at the at the very top of the URL, twitch.tv slash oh, tech garden. Oh, there's all the other That's right. Twitch. You can actually scroll down yeah. there. Um, except it doesn't show you how many people. It'll give you, it, it just needs a couple minutes to get actually turned in later today. Oh, okay. I'm gonna mute you on this. You're gonna mute me? On the laptop. Is it function and then volume or? Oh, um, I thought I had it only going through, um... No, you're on the laptop mic. Like, I can hear you on this. Can you hear me on this? Can you hear me on that? Can you hear me on that? Yes. All right. Uh, are you sure that's true? Yeah. So I got two minutes before we launch. Um. Oh, we need to make a post. Albert, can you make a post right there and just say something about right over to your left? Yeah, right in there, just put something like getting medieval with hardboard. Hardboard. Right? That's very easy. Yeah, yeah. Live streaming now or something. Sure. I, it says connect with Twitter. I thought I already was connected with Twitter. Mm. I can mess with that after. No, she is. Your box better. I wish you wouldn't be such a big cheater. Little he knows the challenge. <laughs> that is true. Maybe you don't need it. Maybe you don't need it. All right, cool. So it says right here we got three viewers on this. It's awesome, um, but I don't see them here. Are you, it, actually, if you reload the page now, it should, it should show up. Which page? Uh, this Twitch page right here. Right. I am thinking you're a liar. Yeah. Right, you're not a liar. Huh. Yeah, that's that's what happened. So um, let us get started, shall we? Nice. Because today is awesome. Always. All right, so uh, for those who are just tuning in, this is our Tech Garden channel. What do we do here? We teach uh, all sorts of STEM-related things. We teach how to build stuff. We teach how to make stuff. Uh, and we do it, hopefully, so that you, you get to learn along the way. And we actually have it set up to where um, if you follow along more, more frequently, frequently with us, you can do the same things that we're doing along with you. So if you tuned in Wednesday, you saw, where's our disaster? Right over there. You saw our disaster. 
um, which was this bridge Connor and I built, completely out of cardboard and a thousand linear meters <laughs> of duct tape. And we had to span a 50 centimeter gap with only 20 centimeter strips. long strips. And what ended up happening, as you guys might be able to guess the failure mode, is it splayed out. So despite their best efforts, it's splayed out. Um, and so we learned a lot about bridge building. We learned not to take bridge builders for granted. <coughs> Absolutely not. And so we did buy a bridge. So we debated on what the next thing today could be. And so we, as we left the last episode, we entertained um, an idea of building that bridge again without any adhesives, without any tape, or anything like that. But after talking to our esteemed colleague, Dr. Albert Vega, I had an idea. Actually, it's his idea, so that's why I'm crediting him. Um, and, and right now, Connor doesn't know the idea. So, so that's why we have a separator here. You can actually see from the overhead view, um, our hands getting ready to go build some things with the notional concept that, that we can't see what each other are doing. So um, that should be kind of fun. Before I kick into the challenge, I wanted to say a couple quick things about Tech Card. For one, I'm Brad. I'm Connor. That's Connor. And we have uh, Dr. Vega on the uh, on the back screen doing the typey types, and um, and that's I'm not sure that's what the kids are saying. It's but not. It's not what they're saying. It's not the typey types. Um, and so uh, and so that's who we are. We are a nonprofit, uh, motivated and geared towards teaching you guys how to do cool stuff. We have a donate button at the bottom. Please donate. Turns out your donations will be tax deductible. Uh, that's how we fund everything that we do. Our goals are to try to get 500 consistent viewers. Um, so please tell your friends, tell your homeschooling communities, tell anyone who might be at home doing STEM type of things to log on. If you go to techgarden.org, go to techgarden.org, punch in, or look at the top, you'll see live streaming. You will see our agenda for the next eight weeks. Some of these things start sort of low tech, like with cardboard, and then they get more and more high tech and, um, and end up using things like Arduino and sensors and servos. And if you go to that site, techgarden.org, you'll be able to see a, a, a uh, link at the top where you can buy our seed pack. So uh, that seed pack has all these things in it. What am I missing? So, so how, do we, how do we actually learn in this, in this process of utilizing cardboard, you know, typing into it's usually what happens is we have a challenge that's placed before us, and uh, usually you don't really know what the challenge is. And so the big thing that happens is uh, you attempt to do the challenge, but as you're doing the challenge, you accidentally learn a whole bunch of really useful skills. If, for instance, you're doing something like Arduino, you accidentally learn a little bit of C++, base coding, and uh, object-oriented programming, things like this. Or something like as simple as building a bridge, you would learn a little bit about structural integrity, uh, things like this, where all you're doing is really messing around with pieces of cardboard, duct tape, and scissors, and box cutters, and things like this. Um, so the first few weeks, we're going to be utilizing things around the home, things that you can go into, something that you were going to recycle, and now you can recycle into learning instead. Um, and then as the weeks go on, uh, we'll get into more high-tech things. So we'll start making sensors, and we'll then maybe even make a home security system Things like this. Yeah, well said. I mean, for you. So, great. A uh, couple of things. You can follow us. Again, go to um, techgarden.org. We also have a Twitter account, at techgardening. That sounds pretty straightforward. Uh, we have an Instagram account, again, at techgardening. Uh, please post pictures of things you guys are doing at home. We're going to try to post pictures of things that we do every week. Yes. Um, and if you want to show something to the audience that you're making um, while we're making, you can do it by uh, by adding or by emailing at no, I'm saying by emailing Brad at TechGarden.org, or you can post it on Twitter, and we will try to take it and show it to the audience. Uh, you can also post it on our Instagram, and uh, and we'll try to put and we'll try to show it to the audience in real time during our shows. So just let me know that you have uh, you have something out there, and um, and do it. You know, you can continue to do it in our chat. So uh, last logistics thing before we get started. 
is if you want to chat with us on the chat channel, or on the right hand part of your screen, I highly recommend that you do that, because that's how we know that you're out there, that's how we know we're answering your questions, and you're giving us feedback on what we need to do better to make this a more enjoyable learning experience for you guys. Uh, go to twitch.tv and up the well, upper right hand corner, there is something that tells you how to sign in. And you just gotta get an account, or log in, or get an account, or something like that, and, uh, and that's free, and then you can now write us in Texas. Make, Albert, you have the uh, URL um, preloaded in there. Yeah, there's, there's a link that we're gonna send out right now that actually gives you the full step-by-step -step of how to actually make an account. So if you're watching this after the fact, uh, obviously you can't comment, that's the advantage of being on the uh, show. If you are watching this after the fact and you've, and you've gone back and looked at our old streams, um, give us a note, shoot me a note and tell me when you're looking at it and what would be a better time to do these. We pick 10.30 uh, almost out of a hat trying to catch people in the morning before they go out for their afternoon activities. Um, but let me know, let me know what that, what that looks like and, and perhaps we can, um, we can tailor our timing. All right, so I got some of the logistics stuff out of the way. Are you ready for this? Not really. All right, but uh, I'm ready as I'll ever be. So here's what I thought would be fun. We've never done this before. In fact, I'm making this up almost as we go. But uh, what you what you see in front of us, classic. Yeah. <laughs> what you see in front of us is each of us has half of a Home Depot box. Uh, we cut the flaps off for for Wednesday's activity, and we also have a box cutter. We also have a pencil. We also have an exacto knife in case we need to make finer cuts, and we have a single rubber band. And that is the uh, that is all we have in front of us. And then this wood is just so uh, when we cut into the plastic table, that we that we don't cut into the plastic table. All right. So this is a challenge where we will not be able to see each other doing what we're doing. Um, and I, and, you know, we will not be able to look at each other's work until the last reveal. So here's what we're going to do today. We are going to build a catapult, but that catapult has to do a couple of things. We have to build it with no tape, no glue, no adhesives. We have to be able to launch golf balls at each other. At each other? The goal will be to destroy each other's catapult <laughs> with these golf balls. Now here's, here's the deal. You get a golf ball for every 10 centimeters your, your catapult is tall. Now, that tallness can't come from just some spire that does nothing. It has to be functional tallness. So if your scoop is up there, it will measure to the top of the scoop. If you have like a tiny little piece of cardboard that goes to the ceiling and does nothing, that does not count as functional height. So for every 10 centimeters, you get an extra golf ball. At, at uh, so it is, we'll call it, we'll start at 1045 at... At 11, let's say, give us 30 minutes. At 11.15, we will start the Battle Royale. Um, so the, uh, the other thing is the, the, the loser is the, is the catapult that is the lowest in height after it's been destroyed. <laughs> or that can't functionally shoot anymore. So, that was, like, so if we knock pieces off and, uh, and they're both functional, but one is taller than the other, if one is functional and one is not functional, the, you know, the non-functioning one loses. So those are the rules. Basically, it's really simple. There is an inflection point somewhere on height versus strength. Now, one last thing I haven't mentioned yet, which I'll mention now, is that you have to be able to launch your catapult with a single finger and nothing else. So, I mean, you have to be able to you know, load, load your, your ballistic Golf ball inside, and then and then pull back. You can't use the other hand for bracing or anything. So it has to be self bracing, and you have to be able to launch the golf ball at the other person. And that's why you see this gap between uh, the tables here. That will be our our launching gap. We have to launch it over the. No, no, no. We'll move the table. Uh, okay. I mean, we'll move the the divider. I'm just saying that the table gap. So we can't just be like right at each other. I thought I thought we were gonna be playing volleyball. For yeah, playing volleyball. That would actually be a good one too. Um, and so, yeah, that's what we're going to do today is we are going to, when Albert gives us the go signal, we are going to go, and uh, or slightly before 1045, and we are going to make catapults with no adhesive, no measuring device, no, 
Nope, no um, tape measure. We're just going to get as tall as we can at, at, and still be able to fire a golf ball. So again, one golf ball every 10 centimeters in height of functional height, not of cheater height. And single finger launch. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I'm missing because I just wrote the rules right before the show started on the floor here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, just making this up. So I think it'll be fun. It's gonna it's gonna challenge us. Um, any questions from you? Um, do I have tape measure? No. <laughs> so so I don't know how tall my thing is. I should be able to eyeball. Oh, that so at, at at some point you can ask for the tape measure, and Albert will give us the tape measure, and we can. But it's very regulated as to the amount of tape measure that I can have. Um, no, you can you can ask for it, but you have to give it right back. So you can't. I don't want that to be a tool that you use. You can keep checking to see how tall. Like if you think you're. A, a Protein, ten centimeters or something. I do. I do have a question. So let's yeah. say that like my catapult is like really long, right? Um, but when it stands up, it stands really tall. That's fine. So that's how tall it is. That's fine. Okay. So it's actually like five centimeters off the ground. You know, really five centimeters. Yeah. But it's but, but it's like really long. Right. So it's functional height. So your yeah. scoop is functional height. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, that's a very long lever arm. And it's not going to work at all. And, and you have a single rubber band, but um, but it's functional height. What if my rubber band? Uh, then you're in trouble. <laughs> I, I did. I did do the pull test. This, these are oh, rubber bands that sit around uh, asparagus, so oh. they're they're well tested. Very good. Um, anyway, all right. Asparagus. Any other questions? Any questions from the audience? Anyone out there want to make a comment? If not, what do we got here? All right. I'm gonna give us two minutes of head start. Okay. Let's do this. Step number one. Caffeinating. Actually, it's mostly decaf. All right. And anyone out there in the audience, please, we uh, this is a joint effort. Uh, obviously, Connor needs more help than I do. So feel free to start commenting as quickly as you, you know, can. You know, you know the old saying, you know, can't teach a dog new tricks. Well, I don't get it. Uh, yeah. Exactly. But you can't actually even teach me that idiom. So that's the point. That it's hard to make. I know I'm realizing that I need to move my coffee because this is this is about to get kinetic and yeah it's also as you cut you move the camera like i'm moving the camera uh, is it bad do i need to turn around hold on i'm trying to think of a solution real quick oh we had image stabilizing does that mean that I'm holding the camera? <laughs> <laughs> that means <laughs> image stabilizing means Albert holds the camera. Uh, all right. I so, mean, like, have a right angle device or anything? You got nothing. This is uh, this is problem solving, buddy. Do you think back in medieval times? They had things like right angles. They at least had some kind of square-headed guy that was, you know, the village idiot. And he, they could at least put him next to the cardboard that they were cutting. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you make a very a very interesting and self-effacing point. Self-effacing? <laughs> wow. You're, you're the uh, square-headed guy, I'm just saying. Ah. Okay. In your own metaphor. That's, uh, that's pretty fair. Well, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just <laughs> observing. Do you have any more of the bridge uh, tape? Tape from the bridge. Tape from the bridge. Uh, what was that? Where was that? Is that? No. Yeah, I didn't see it. I think it might be in the other room. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I'll uh, rectify the shaking. Shaking bacon. Ooh, we should have made these things out of bacon. That's not physical possible. That's not true. Uh, we should do an episode where I take liquid nitrogen and freeze bacon so, so we can build catapults out of it. <laughs> be like, go, go, go! Quick, before it thaws! Yeah. Hopefully this will... Ah, we're gonna... Whatever body part is hurting me right now, work out. Catapult competition. Do you want to relinquish any secrets?
secrets to either me or the uh, cloud as to what your what your plan is? Yeah, um, my plan is is somewhat complicated. It might be overly complicated. It is to win. Full stop. Oh. Full stop. Oh, we're supposed to win. Those are uh, small goals, right? So, so this I might have a little bit of my history off by a bit, but. From what I understand, back in the day, before catapults would actually fire, they would tweet to the enemy and be like, hey, here comes the catapult. They would tweet to the enemy? Did you say that? That may not be true. Using birds, though. But actual birds. Actual birds. They'd be like, here it comes. Okay, there you go. Look at that. Engineering. That's what happens when you have engineers that are... Uh, Studio hands. They use their studio hands. Literally. Huh. There we go. It's stuck already, Brad. No, I have an idea here. What he's going to do is he's going to pour hot scalding coffee on you. <laughs> That's how he wins. <laughs> no catapult even needs to be built. It's gonna, it's gonna soggy up your cardboard with coffee. <laughs> so, I am going to draw this up on my whiteboard. Actually, I'm gonna draw it up. I can't use this marker. It's cheating. Yeah, you draw it up on this you piece. You don't get a marker, Brad. You get a pencil. You draw it up on this piece of paper that I have. <laughs> oh, this is this is. Just... Uh, uh, let me think of about this. So I need... wait, Brad is preemptively thinking about the design before actually just jumping into the design. Yeah, I think the this is a, this the is top the top down camera is frozen. This is truly terrifying. Is it? Yeah, I think it so, is. So um, cycle. The uh, the USB switch that it's on. So is that the? It's the middle switch. I think. So just turn it on, like click it on and off. This does. Is that? Let's do it. Working on it. Nope, that was Connor. All right, so that's the other one. Connor, let me think. Ah, success. I don't think you. I don't think you have time to think. Um, Three minutes off the rip. <laughs> Were you allotted thinking time in the, in the challenge? Or in the medieval times? You're or in medieval times. You were busy battling the plague. Yeah. All right. I think I, I think I'm getting there, buddy. I think I'm getting there. Not that you care. Oh, I care. Oh, I care. Do these cameras have focus or no? They are auto focusing. Are they not mm -hmm. auto focusing? Yeah, that camera might be focusing on me or something and not Connor. The top, you look on the top down? Yeah. Uh, you know what it might be? It might be focusing on the top of the divider. Oh, uh, that's true. So, Viggy, at least people can get us an idea of what you're doing, what you're up to. Don't look. I'm not looking. You're cheating. I'm not cheating. I promise. I'm not looking at you. Although I easily could. <laughs> Wait, what was that? All right. Any anyone out there have any suggestions for what to do here? Can you take your sheet of paper and then raise it to the roof camera to give people an idea of what you drew? 
Oh, yeah, good idea. But don't let Connor see. I'm not looking. Uh, this is just, I'm thinking about how to do the actual catapulting mechanism here. Let me um, see if you're... I don't know which way I should do it. Uh, except Connor doesn't have a sheet of paper. So I don't need a sheet. You know what, I'll give you a sheet. I'm going to give you a sheet of paper because I realize that even though you could draw on cardboard, you can't share it with your audience. So I'm going to give you half of my sheet. Great. You're, you're so generous. There you go. I'm not looking. Alright, so let's think about this. Let's think about this, folks. Aha, I think I got it. I think I got it. I think world domination is is imminent. So Connor, when I obviously win this, um, <clears throat> is that gonna change the way you and I work together? Uh yeah, mostly because you're probably just in a never-ending flow of after you want cardboard challenge. That doesn't is, sound is like that. It doesn't sound like you. I don't know. That doesn't sound like that. I don't know. That sounds exactly like me. It sounds relative. Relative. All right. Going from being able to use an unlimited amount of adhesive to zero amounts of adhesive. Aww. Hey, do you think the people in the Middle Ages had adhesive? I yes. Mean, they had like, <laughs> like tar and yeah, straw, crazy glue. Pat and penny, crazy glue. Gee, that's a good question. When was like Elmer's glue first invented? Uh, huh. I mean, it's just keratin, right? It was just basically dissolved keratin. Which we've had a, we've had that stuff around for a while. I don't be cheating. I'm only partially cheating. Alright, I think. I think I might have a slight issue. Issue. How do we decide who goes first, Brad? What's that? How do we, how do we decide who shoots first? Uh, oh, good one. Um, how about... Coin toss. Or rock, shape, or scissors. Or initially, who's tallest? <laughs> Are you talking about, like, stature-wise? Like, yeah, person-wise. Pers that's just not fair. All right, how, how about like who's... Six, you're, like, 6'5", six and I'm, like, 5'9". Do, do by age. Who's oldest? Uh, are you talking about, like, your soul who's oldest, or are you talking about, like... Let's go by, who's blondest? He is just all completely <laughs> against me. Um, we can do it by height. Since we're rewarding everything by height today, uh, we should do it by whoever's the highest initially. Doesn't, okay. mean, doesn't mean that it'll be the highest in the end. Alright, so anyone, <coughs> for those tuning in, you can kind of see where I'm starting to go with this. Uh, for those tuning in, you might be able to see where I'm going with this. But I've got to, I've got to brace this. I've got to brace this. So how am I going to do that? Um, I know how. I guess if I make comments, Connor can see what they are. If I make comments about your structure, Connor. Oh, he doesn't have a monitor. Oh, he doesn't have a monitor? Oh. Hey, Connor, use your cell phone to watch the stream. <laughs> That's a real idea. That's actually a really cool idea. So, let me think. I probably need to go something like this. Right, it bothers me that you're like reaching up above. <laughs> I'm just a tall person. Just general. Just 
this tall, I have a larger wingspan. Oh, okay. I've been called, uh, and very frequently, the Shaquille O'Neal of cardboard. That's catapult making. That's a very small market. It's a small but very unlucrative market, let me put it that way. No. No. No right. All right, for those just joining us, if you are, oh, this is blocking my face. Who wants that? Everybody. Uh, we are doing a catapult challenge, a timed catapult challenge with uh, only cardboard, no adhesive, no adhesive, and just good old-fashioned ingenuity, which is also new fashion, because that's why we're doing this. But, uh, yes, you can use an Arduino. I can use a servo? You can use a, not a servo. So the way this challenge works is you can only use uh, the things that I wrote on the board here, which is cardboard, as you can see, a pencil for marking, a rubber band for whatever you think a rubber band is used for, and a box cutter, and if you want more uh, more elegant cutting, a uh, X-Acto knife. And the way it works is if you, for every 10 centimeters, your tower is tall, you get an extra golf ball to fire upon your opponent to knock them down. And so you might say, well, wouldn't I just make the thing 100 feet tall? And just pummel them all day. And I would say, well, you still have to fire it with a single finger. So you have to be able to load the ball in and then fire it with a single finger. So what that means is it's way too tall. You can't brace it with your other hand and your foot and a, and a tentacle or something. It actually has to be, uh, it actually has to be you know, stable. So, ah. so given those requirements, what's that? What's that? So, according to some quick research, glue was not abundantly used in in Europe until just after the medieval ages. Really? So it's like the 1500s to 1700s is when it started to be used, <coughs> and <coughs> the medieval medieval period is about to the 15th century. So maybe kind of around that time frame did it start to pick up. Look at that. You guys are now. You, by the way, you're starting to see how this has come together. You guys, are, you just got glue served by Albert. Glue served? I'm not sure if that's a thing. It's not. But, but I think the audience knows what, I'm, what I mean by glue served. All right. This is kind of fun, Connor. I haven't moved this fast. This is like her exercise for me. Like exercise. Some people run 10Ks. I make cardboard. And you make cardboard. Cardboard pencils. I was thinking about doing trebuchets, but I couldn't actually remember what a trebuchet does. It's like a person. It's like a weight and a whip at the end of it. That's right. It was like. How do I do that? With cardboard? Yeah. Well, I was just thinking, for one, I couldn't remember how, what they do. Like, I knew they did some <laughs> type of counter something. Counter something, something. The anti artillery or something. Yeah, getting the hinges to work with cardboard would be really hard. Let's see here. All right. I'm getting there. I think I'm getting there. Or I might just be saying that to psych out Connor. No, Connor, I'm totally there. Oh, it's totally done. You're totally hosed. Oh, wow. My thing's 10 meters tall, but it's maybe too soon to keep the golf ball. 10 hundred meters tall. 14,000 golf balls. Ooh, so, wow. Decap refill. Uh, all right. Let's see. <laughs> What else do I need here, audience? Wait a minute. Brad, I think this is cheating because you can see what I'm doing. I'm absolutely not looking at that. Uh-huh. <laughs> not at all. Whatever you In say. fact, I just thought about that when you said that. Here, let me put a post-it over here. Yeah, I'm going to put a post-it over here. <laughs> I 
I am I am absolutely not looking at you. Because I know, I know that I have the superior power. I think everyone knows that. It's almost like I anticipated that being a problem for me. Hit them. <laughs> I mean, there's use posters. Oh, here it is. Yeah, that's a little bit of a mess over there. Yeah. Don't look when you bend over and get the. Not looking. Oh man, that's a good marker. Oh, thanks. <laughs> there you go. Now he, it's been rectified. Yeah, right. but I guarantee you, I was also not looking. Uh -huh. I think based on, I, I, I basically put my head down and said, I know what I'm doing. I, I bit, you know, like the approach, the uh, the inflection point, if you will. I'm pushing to one side. Can I get a time check? It is 11.02. Oh, I'm terrified. And you have to when? 11.15. Definitely terrified. This part might not be the best here. Boys and girls, this is a great way to cut your finger off. Oh, it looks like I should be wearing safety glasses when I'm doing that. Okay, I'm not a professional. You're a professional. Alright, well I miscut that one. It's okay. It's the nice thing about using this medium. You guys ever watch that show medium? Me neither. Shoot. You're miscutting, I'm miscutting this. No. Oh, why are structures falling apart? Wow, structural integrity is a thing, isn't it? I, mean, I, you know, I didn't know that. <laughs> right. I wasn't aware that. It wow. Was so somebody what is getting like big. A little sassy. And they're sassy. Oh, yeah, better idea. I am going to do something that no one ever thought I could do. Angle cuts. Angle cuts. It's like the Sharknado of cutting. Angle cuts. Brought to you by protractors. You got a protractor? Yeah. Super cheap. My brain is a protractor. Super cheap. Look how protracted it is. Super cheap. Eleven oh six. Still terrifying. So nine minutes. Nine minutes. 
to save the world. <coughs> angle cuts, angle cuts, gonna make some angle cuts. Angle cuts. Brought to you by Teddy Ruxman. You remember Teddy Ruxman? I do. Albert does. There is no, I bet there's nobody out there. You know what, I'm going to test the audience. Whoever's watching. You guys know what, what Teddy Ruxpin is. Does anyone out there know what Teddy Ruxpin is? If you do, you win. The internet. The internet. Getting there, Connor. How's it coming over there, Connor? It's uh, it's uh, so there's cardboard everywhere. Oh yeah, yeah. How's that going? It's uh, it's it's uh, it's tech. Oh cool. Yeah. If you were to describe your your work over there, what would it, what would you describe it as? Catapulty. 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 I I would have gone. Catapulty. Catapult esque. I would have gone with catatonic. Catatonic. Yes. Oh, made the same mistake again. Realize this did not do that. Feel like I need your support. Uh, twenty percent of my support. No, zero percent of my support. So, Brad, where is the golf ball going to be launched? Where is the golf ball going to be launched from? Like, from your your system of <laughs> turn the table. Oh. Okay, so your system is on its side. No, it's not. No? Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. So you're launching from up high. I mean, it's ambiguous. <laughs> What's our time today? Can you tell us when we have the five minute warning? It is 11.09. You're about to hit the five minute warning in as know, seconds. As you know from It is 11.10. Dun, dun, dun. I'm so happy that the challenge is almost over. And I technically have a place for the golf ball. Alright, I gotta stand up. I'm not looking at yours, don't worry. Oh, don't worry. Oh, I didn't worry. Ah, okay. Was that a? You I see, now I see, I get it. I see what you're. I see. I smell what you're stepping in. Smell what I'm stepping.
You're what? <laughs> we are at 11-12. Making the countdown a little bit more... Dramatic. Dramatic, yeah. dramatic -y. As it knows. Right, yours is going to be able to fire with a single finger. I think that's going to be tricky. I think it's going to be real tricky. I'm, I'm not even looking at it. It's going to be real tricky. Think so? Yeah, I think that's that's definitely the uh, one of the harder points in this challenge. Okay. Your was that a common setting? Okay. Your uh, your complaints are noted. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I mean, Brad, you're going to achieve it, but I think there's an interesting characteristic of your uh, catapult. Yeah. <laughs> it is 11.13. Shore up my battle stations. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. See, that's exactly <laughs> what. I, I mean, you're gonna you're gonna do something. It just might be catastrophic when you do it. That was the greatest. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> we are one minute away. That's fantastic. Can I get a golf ball? Do I, do I yeah. get a golf ball? Oh, you can do a test golf ball. That's great. I, I really need a test ball. There's your test golf ball to make sure it's there. All right, moment of truth. <clears throat> All right. Hold on, I gotta see this. we are at time. Okay. All right. We are there. It is a <laughs> moment down. of truth. Can we pull this away? Move the microphone, maybe. There's a lot of stuff. Um, <coughs> actually, just my front stand is all I'm seeing hitting right now. Pick up. Just, we don't even go out of the way, just enough for where we can see here. There's like two camel wires in one of the tubes. And they three. go up over it by tubes? Oh, weird. Connor's camera is like completely bleached out. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm looking at the post it note. I'm like, what is going on with Connor's camera? <laughs> Looks like my security device worked well. Oh, that's good. I didn't even. That's what I'm telling you. I wasn't even looking. There we go. There's Connor. They had put this uh, post-it note over. It. So, so now you see the. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome. All right. So you ready to watch the golf balls? So, so first we need official measurements. Okay. So is this right. functional height? I didn't. You know, neither of us measured like. So that's. At least 66. I won't give you 67. So it's 66. So six golf balls. 66 centimeters. And then I'm gonna measure. Get round down. Yeah. Round down. 
So 37 round down is about 55, right? So you know so what? Let's, let's round up. Give each other one more golf ball. Make okay. it a little more kinetic. 37 for... for so, so you get four and I get seven golf balls. Yep. All right. I've already got one over here. All right. So here are the golf balls. You know what would have been an interesting thought? What's that? You just built really high and just built like a, a chute for all these golf balls to come flying down. At the <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, so so there's a very secret tactic to uh, to my uh, catapult here that I'm gonna unveil right now. And so the surprising part about it, about it is that it actually does not use a rubber band. Oh do you do you wanna know why? Uh, you couldn't figure it out. I time. ran out of time. <laughs> <laughs> it does not fire. So you're not gonna fire me? I am going to attempt to, okay? okay. Are we ready? So we we should well, uh, since we go by height, but I'll let you. I'll look for. It, I want to. I want to see this. Okay. All right. All right. I'm gonna. Uh, do we have a good vantage point? We can see this. You can see it from top very well. Okay. Good. It's just. Let me do one little thing on Connor's turn. Okay. All right. All right. Are you ready? Moment of truth. Go for it. Wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> All right, Lo load it in, and then I'm gonna fire it with one finger. <laughs> and Close. exactly like I thought, I thought it was gonna tip. All right, so that, was, that was your one shot because it's not hitting. Mine. It's not hitting. Yeah, it's hitting too far forward. I just realized as soon as I did. that's that's one. All right, next shot. <laughs> <laughs> My forces got me closer to your forces, so uh, I, I realized my my failure was that it, it stops too far forward, see? Mm -hmm. So I need to close, so it launches, it's just not uh, not at a point where it makes sense. Gotcha. Hold on. All right. Excellent. All right. <laughs> oh. Finger. I'm gonna really stress the mechanism here. <laughs> uh, so that counts. So mine's still technically tolerated. Oh, right. You, 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 you let yours fell over on its own gravity. Okay. Go ahead. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little closer. Okay. <laughs> All right, I only have one shot left, so I better make it count. Make it count. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Mine's still standing. Yes. So um, I, I mean, we're, I'm just going to keep shooting them on so the you have two. You have two left. Can I use a ball? Can I use one shot as a, as a test shot? Uh, no, as a uh, to stop to stop it. Right. So like my problem is is I want to do that. So can I do a double shot? That's both of your shots, though. Do you really trust it enough? Yes. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Right, so that counts as my double shot. You so, mean? so at the end of the day, uh, and I'll put this up here. So at the end of the day, it looks like uh, we are terrible. Uh, we should not have strategists or yeah. or or you know whatever you call it. A cattle people. Catapultists. I think that's that's the fact. Catapultists. Um, Catapultiers. So, so my design was leveraging the pencil. That was a pretty. That was I did not even think to use the pencil. Well, to be fair, since I was thinking about this last night, I had a little more time. To think about it. So that's I'm cheating. So I'm you're cheating, cheating a little cheating bit. A little bit. So. Um, but yeah, so uh, the, the notion was use the existing box to get as high up as I could, um, and then just use these little tongue and groove, you know, approaches. And then I was thinking about how to do this mechanism, and I was like, oh, okay, I can just make a V with the cardboard, and um, and then just cut out little V's there, and uh, and then I just needed a stopping bar, so when the thing comes up, it stopped. Well, 
I think Albert was alluding to the fact that that probably needs to be back a little further so that when it comes back, it stops like that. So I want to see if that would have even worked. I'm going to use my finger really quick. So if I had done that, so I, I just don't have enough force. So even if I had done that. I think I think building it up high was a really good idea. No, I was thinking, I was thinking I could get down on you, like shoot down. I'm just not getting enough enough a whip action. Um, so I'd have to think about how to really do that. I think I could have extended this down even further by making this longer, I guess. Um, I mean, in theory, that, that feels like, it feels like that's doing a good job. And I wanted to, so, and then just one last comment here is I thought, since I got it one-handed, I put, I tried to put the mechanism forward on this, knowing that when I pull back, that stress was going to rely, was going to hang out a lot on the back end. So I put this crossbar back there, too, to make sure that that was going to stay Oh, yeah, a little crossbar. But I was like, I knew that this would happen, right? So I wanted to put the mechanism as far forward as I could. Um, when I did this, and that was one of the first decisions I had to make was how far forward do I put these these bars? Right. And I was like, okay, yeah. I'll, I'll do I'll do that. And uh, and I was hoping that it wasn't going to tip over, so I was just like, oh, please flex enough before that happens. Right. So that was my that was my idea. My, my mine was mine is basically what yours is on top, except larger. So I needed about another, like I said, about another ten minutes to construct last part of it, which, again, I was compensating for as well, where it was actually going to hit the golf ball here so that it would stop it and launch. Oh, okay. <clears throat> but I was actually trying to utilize this whole range of movements, and uh, I was going to create, like, uh, I was going to try and create triangle cutouts so that I could literally use this as its fulcrum going all the way back, uh, so that it would launch. Um, How are we going to set up the rubber band? So it was going to be like there was going to be another mechanism here that would uh, round out over it. And so it would be something to the effect of this, where the rubber band would be here and it would launch out up and over this. I just I was like ninety percent sure I was going to snap it, even if this thing is truly uh, uh, as possible as you were describing. Yeah. But I ran out of time, and uh, so my best my best attempt would have been something. <laughs> Which went zero business. <laughs> so, uh, you know, for those that uh, tuned in and watched, um, this was us making cardboard catapults uh, with no adhesive and limited, a bunch of limited resources, including time. So. Yeah, and, <laughs> and it's a little bit of a vignette on life, I think, because oftentimes you are given limited resources, limited time. The time makes it tricky. I, I was that was always in the back of my mind, like yeah, you're fat, like I couldn't move fast enough. Yeah. Because you think 30 minutes to make a cardboard cutout is a lot of time. It is not. It is not. I mean, like, if I had another 30 minutes, I would have spent a little bit more time practicing on that mechanism. I would have tested it a bunch of times and realized that I needed I needed a longer lever arm, so I would have had to cut out the bottom a little bit more or elevate it even higher. Um, but, yeah, that's uh, – and I would have used every minute of that hour doing the same thing. So uh, I would so That's interesting. I want to tease what we're doing next Wednesday. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this, Connor. Uh, so we want to talk. So this was about things you can use around the house. We wanted to find cardboard and do a little sort of mechanical engineering. Next week, we want to do um, a little bit of a little bit of uh, music. So explain how how this is resonating. Explain if you change densities of the, of the fluid, you actually can change the resonant um, characteristics of the glass. Um, and Connor, who plays piano, and I, who play guitar, might have a rock off. Um, so, so Brad doesn't. Act, Brad actually doesn't know this, but I actually already made a song that mm -hmm. I'm going to play. No way. With, with with our piano. That is cool. Yeah. It's going to be in the key of C, where we have, all I have to use is all the basic notes. So. Yeah. Just match the white keys. Yep. All that's literally all you're going to do. But you can't mash when you're doing this kind of thing. So. So you're going to have a, you're going to have all you're going to have a full octave. Yeah. So you. Yeah. I'm going to try to at least. And then on that Friday, we're going to do um, a DIY jazz band. So things <laughs> that you can find around the house, make a little music, 
Um, again, maybe it's things like this. Maybe there's other instruments that we can dream up. So uh, yeah, please join us for that. Um, same same time, uh, 10:30. TechGarden.org has the schedule of all those things. Um, please give us feedback if you are just joining and you're trying to figure out you know what we're about. Uh, you see some things that work or don't work, please let us know. We're trying to grow this viewership. Um, and if you're watching this offline, um, please join us online or tell us when is a better time so we can uh, so we can tailor this to when you're online. Send, it, send us a message over any of our social media sites and we'll get back to you with any feedback that we have. That's right. That's right. Um, any comments from the audience? We're going to please, uh, I see there's a few people watching. If uh, you guys can log on and just say hello, that'd be great. I just want to make sure that uh, I've addressed any questions out there. That's a part of the whole live streaming experience is that we can interact with you guys, we can talk with you guys, uh, answer questions about engineering and science and math and science. <laughs> and um, and I was trying to think of all the STEM things. Technology, Technology. I guess. Technology. Technology. So uh, if you have any questions about that, uh, please ask it. Uh, believe it or not, all that we did today is technical. Yeah. Well, I, I calculated some stuff. Uh, yeah, so did I. I did not. I, I did not calculate. I did not. Use, unfortunately, I did not use math. But you just, was, yeah, you did. You measured, and you needed to determine how many golf balls. That's that. Excellent point, Albert. We did measure. <laughs> we measured. You measured, measured, and you had to use math. And we rounded. Round. There you go. Uh, rounding, ceiling function. Use, there you go. Uh, yeah. All right, sweet. Well, if, uh, if no one else is gonna say anything. I'll give you another minute or so um, if you can just log on and say hi or that you're there just so we know that you're, uh, you're listening and checking in. Um, See, it's interesting. Like The approach that I would have done would have been completely different than what you would have done. What would you have done, Albert? So what I would have done is I would have taken two large triangles, supported it between oh, yeah. each other, cut the rubber band, and created a little pouch so that I'm actually doing like a, a one-finger pull to sling, almost like a slingshot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. slingshot. Yeah. Huh. Now, it wouldn't have shot at you, it would have had to shot up and oh, then land on top of you. So Albert's approach, if you guys didn't hear that, he would have done something like a slingshot where he would have made two triangles and essentially figured out a mechanism to pull the ball back like a slingshot. Well, it's if you can use one finger, it's your finger. It's your finger. It's just cut the rubber band in half, feed it through two slits, tie a knot so oh, that you man, can pull it Really? Yeah. yeah. That would be cool. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, so that so next time, uh, we'll, we'll have to do this again and um, <laughs> try something else. So. Vega will destroy all of this. Vega will. Yeah, I think this would have come close to destroying you. Uh, I mean, you had to keep getting closer, so. I figured that I, I was going to also just get a lot of balls and just rain, rain <laughs> balls on you. Rain terror. Okay. Actually, right. that would have been another fun approach if you just created a slide that launched it at the very end. <laughs> just like, let go of the ball. Yep. Crush. It could. Could work. That's true. The objective was to crush. <laughs> All right. Well, everyone out there, um, it's been a pleasure. And uh, again, please give us feedback on uh, on what you know you'd like, what you didn't like, and what would make um, our attendance better. Because uh, we're not getting very uh, many views at the moment, and we'd like to do more. So, please help us with that. Connor, any parting words? Uh, engineering is not always as easy as it looks. <laughs> I don't mean, think it ever looks easy. <laughs> but it's always fun. It's always solved. fun. All right. Well, uh, for Tech Garden, we'll see you on Wednesday tonight. Um, by the way, there is a challenge tonight. We haven't made it up yet. It's our Friday night something challenge. We we'll, we make it up at the last minute, but it'll be fun. So until then, we will see you next Wednesday. And you just got to click uh, offline. Stop streaming.